Hello everybody. In this chapter, we will establish a foundation for writing our image-based reflection shader. In the chapter of introduction of image-based lighting, we understood that we use a chrome ball to capture the environment and then we convert that captured environment into a cube map. So what exactly we did when we captured the information from the environment is we used a chrome ball. We set it up on a tripod and then we placed a camera at the farther distance so that we can see the maximum information in the chrome ball. So let's say we placed our camera here. And based on the view direction and the normal of the surface, this is the normal at this point of the chrome ball. This is the chrome ball. It's a reflective ball. And based on this normal and the view direction, it captured the information of this direction. So that's how a reflective surface works based on the law of reflection. When we captured, we took this image in this format where we see all the reflections and the picture of the chrome ball. And then we take this light probe, we crop the information that is required, and then finally we convert it into a cube map. And this cube map we use in our scene for image based lighting. So, this is the process to capture environment. And when we will use this cube map in our scene for the lighting information, we will treat this cube map as an environment and we will use the same process for calculating the lighting. Now suppose this is our scene and we have placed a reflective sphere. It doesn't have any color yet, we just know that it has a reflective property. And the second thing that we have is our cube map that is surrounding our scene. And that's where we have our camera. When we captured the information of environment, environment was the lighting information for us. And now we have the cube map in our scene which will be treated as lighting information for that scene. So what we will do is to calculate the color at this point of the sphere whose normal is pointing in this direction. We will calculate the view direction which is the direction from this point of the surface to the camera, to the eye, to the view. And then based on this view direction, we will calculate its reflected vector. So this is the view direction and this is the reflection vector. And the law of reflection says that the angle between the normal and the view direction, the angle between the normal and the reflection is the same. However, when we talk about the law of reflection, it's called as incident ray direction and the reflected ray direction. Once we calculate the reflection direction, we will calculate where this vector hits the environment map. And we will take this color of the environment map, the texel color, and we will apply onto the surface. And that's how we will fill the complete surface of the sphere or any object in the scene. So that's how the image based reflection works. What do we need for calculating the image based reflection? One is we will need world space view direction. Another we will calculate the reflection direction and both of these will be calculated based on the normal of the surface. If you remember the chapter of introduction to the specular reflection, we understood that how we can calculate the reflection vector based on the incident ray or the light direction. In our example, instead of incident ray or the light direction, we will calculate the reflection vector based on the view direction. So we can calculate the reflection based on what we saw in our introduction to specular reflection chapter, we can use this formula to calculate the reflection and we can create a function to calculate the reflection direction. 
this is one option of calculating the reflection vector options for calculating reflection vector option 1 is the formula that we derived option 2 is to use the reflect function provided to us by CG shader this function that is provided by CG shader takes two parameters one is the incidence vector another is normal vector or the normal direction if we use the reflect function of nvidia or cg shader the view direction we calculate we will have to negate it and then pass it to the function and if we use our own formula we can pass just the view direction the calculation inside that function requires a negative view direction and the calculation in our function requires positive view direction because 